YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Endless Ocean 1. Oh yeah, we are back into the Manurai Sea. Manurai, Manuale, I think it's Manurai, yeah. In this game it's Manurai, I think in the United States version it's Manuale. But wait, what? That is new. That's the Emperor Penguin we have on our boat here. I don't think I ever got him visit. Well, in my old save game I did, but on this one. Pretty cool. Is there any other penguin that we can visit? Just checking the boat since the last dive that I forgot. Oh, this guy is not at three. I'm going to put you at three. Come on. There we go. That took a while. And we got some ones here. These are at three already. Okay. Those are all the penguins that we got on our boat, but that was nice to check. Anyways, welcome back, guys, to another diving video into this game. Let's check what we have to do in this today. So, last episode, we went at G5, and we finally see the, saw the bullhead shark spawning, but then we got stuck into an archway that was uh, where the whale appeared. We got stuck there because we glitched outside of the diving circle. So then we went diving here, we got some of the map done in this area here. So now I think, I wonder where we can dive that would be an exploring a new area today. I feel like exploring stuff. First of all though, we had a request to go to the aquarium by Catherine and we never went there. I said I would go sometime. I think it's a time to go there now. Visit the aquarium, yes. We're gonna go because we didn't do yet, and it was one of the things that we needed to do for a while, so why not just do it? I just hit my keyboard there. I hope you didn't hear that. Uh, Moon of Manurai. Corkscrew! Looks like everything's set. Start whenever you're ready. You're free to add any fish you like to the tank. You can place fish or marine life that you've gathered information on. Open the menu with one. Oh, one more thing I ought to mention is... Even if you attempt to interact with the fish at the aquarium, you won't gain any further information about them. Once you're happy with the selection, return to your boat. Okay, so the reason why she said that about the information is so we don't cheat. Because he doesn't want us to... Well, the game doesn't want us to have put a rare fish that we can't find easily here. And then just get all the three pieces of information, uh, just like, cheaply, off of that. So that is just why, uh, she said that. Let's put some fish. One. Ooh la la. All new. All new stuff. Wow. We have a lot of options. Wow. And we have the twos and the fours. So, oh, we don't have any fours. So what this is, is basically is fish size. Fish is that, well, fish is, no, that's not a word. Fish that would take one spot of space in the aquarium. Fish that would take two spots of space in the aquarium. Or fish that would take four spots of space. For example, a two spot would probably be the hammerhead shark. Or the manta ray. Those are two spots because they are large fish. While fish like this... Coral fish just take one single spot. So basically we are able to just pretty much put all the fish that we would want in the aquarium. That's a rare one. I'm gonna put that in there. Uh found trigger fish. Oh that that's okay, I'm gonna put him too. I like him. Uh what else? Let's put Star and Wazelle. And let's put Marsh Idol. Japanese bullhead shark. Uh, and that's pretty much all that we got into the ones. Uh, into the twos, I'm going to put a Big Eye Trevally. Those are groups, so that takes more space. And... Long Tooth Grouper. Okay, good ecosystem. Confirm. Change creatures in the tank. Yes. And now we can explore our man-made environment here. You can see we have a Hammerhead Shark swimming here. Some big eye trevally with them. Wow. Predators with predators. And wow, you can even see the teeth of the shark. 
I never noticed that detail. I didn't know you could see the teeth of the shark. That is something I just realized right now. New discovery in a game I played since four years, I think, now. So, yeah, pretty impressive. Oh, and there we got the um, long tooth grouper just swimming around. What's a manta ray, I wonder? It can't be that hard to find because it's a so big fish. I think it's above us. Oh, there, never mind. It's right there. There's the manta ray. Hello. And here we got the Japanese bullhead shark at the bottom. Just like they were doing in the rock bluff. Rock land. Rock land, not rock bluff. Or it wasn't rock bluff. The, the names between the different versions confuse me so much. Ugh. Because I played this game in French a long time ago, and the only way I was seeing the English names of stuff was online in the forums of other people that were playing the game. And they were saying the different names for different versions they were playing. That's why I'm so confused about it today. Um, yeah, pretty good ecosystem. I, there's also another option here. If you clear, if you click the clear button here, this clears everything, and basically you can place new fish in there. And if you click on random, it'll create an ecosystem at random. And like you can see some, um, wow, it picked that fish three times. Oh, we can put the dolphins in there. I know you could put the dolphins in there. Well, that's cool. Let's put these. There'll be a ton of pyramid fish, those ones. Where's the dolphin? That's what I never knew you could put dolphins in here because I never did that before, I don't think. Uh, where's the dolphin? Oh, come on. How can a dolphin be hidden? Ah, there it is. Hey, oh. We already have all the three info on him. Common fish that can be seen all year round in Manurai. Although I only spotted it at one spot. Oh, and those tiny little blue chromis, blue green chromis, those are so small. Those are some fish you can find in zooms and in regular water. That and the Stark Demoiselle, I think, are the only fish you can do that with. Although the golden, the golden something, I forgot what's the name of it, but there's another one I can think of that you can find. Oh, more Scheidel, you can find in both zooms and in, yeah, so yeah, there are Quite a bit of fish you can find in zooms and in the main ocean. It's such a shame that you can't place zoom fish instead of the aquarium. Uh, although you can do it in the second game, but not in the first game. So that is just something to... You're just gonna accept it. it. It can't happen. Hello, green sea turtle. Anyways, I think I spent enough time here. We're gonna put these fish here and let the visitors see them. There are no visitors at the moment. because uh, Probably because the aquarium is under maintenance right now. Oh, I can see my reflection on the window. It hey, does pretty cool. I see myself. Hello. Anyways, let's go back to the boat. We did our job here. Corkscrew. I managed to do the corkscrews like almost every time. And there we go, no mission from Catherine, so we're still able to do whatever we want, and we can dive at night time. But I think I prefer diving during the day, if we're gonna do some exploring, so I think I'm gonna skip to the morning. And then we have to find somewhere we're gonna explore. We went a lot this way, to the left, but we didn't go to the right yet. So I think I'm just gonna park my boat, like, maybe right there? I can't do that. Right here? That works. Uh, actually, you know what, even though I only like to park the boat in areas that we already discovered, I think I'm gonna park it right there. So we have, like, all of this bay accessible to us. That seems like a good idea. So let's go dive there. And let's go exploring, I guess. Dive with espoir. It's really nice to take a break of like other games I play like Minecraft and stuff to play this once in a while. Because this game is so peaceful and so relaxing. It's really a nice change. Oh, we already got fish in our face at the beginning. And those are found in two, uh, two times, so we can do the third. Those are really in my face. Those were like in the camera just when I dove. Hi, Espoir. So where are we on the map? Let's check. We are exactly where we wanted to dive. The area goes deeper that way, but that also goes back to the Hall of Sapphire. 
Blue Hall. No Hall of Fire. Blue Hall. Oh, it seems like our dolphin found something. Oh, wrong button. Zoom. No, not wrong button again. Zoom. There we go. Oh, seahorse. The seahorse again. That is a nice find. And the sapphire devils. Those are also a one time seen fish. So let's bet those two. There we go. So we got two info both of those. Pretty nice find, Espoir. And what do we have here? I didn't see these rays before. Cowtail Stingray. Can be seen in the Sunshine Beach area all year round. Except the Sun Beach. Uh, Sunshine Beach is not an area that we already found in the save. So it's telling us a little bit of info in advance. Oh, that's the fish. That's the fish I was talking about. The golden thing that you can find in the main water. That's the one. See Goldie, there we go. Can be seen in every area of Manurai with coral reefs all year round. Although they are very rare, those ones, for some reason. I found like them in open water like two or three times. I know in, uh, never mind, I'm not gonna mention that because that's an area that I didn't show in this playthrough yet. Uh, but there's an area, um, a little bit like, let me show the map. Around there, I think, that's where I saw them before. In like, um, a barrel coral. They were swimming above it. And there was a zoom of them inside of the barrel curl too. So that was pretty cool. Espoir is going, it seems, under there. Is that going in the direction we want? Yeah, that's going in the direction we want. To the exploration. To the adventure and the unknown. Blutain. Do we have those uh, three? I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah, we do. Of course. All of the coral fish, we pretty much have them at three already. So what do we have going on here? We have a big sandy area surrounded by cliffs. Coral cliffs. And it goes pretty much all the way up to the surface. So let's continue diving inside of the arches. I like the arches. They're cool. Let's check this um, uh, coral thing to see if we have a zoom here. I know what's the, what's the name of this in French. It's a clam, I think. Well, we found an area, Sunshine Beach, right there. I, oh, it's there. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And that's where we can find the rays too. That's the area that the rays were mentioned at. I think it's the other side of this arch. Where did the, the um, uh, big eye Trevally just went away? Where did they go? I wanted to focus on them. There they are. I just get the third piece of info on them. Oh. We don't even have the second, not the third. There we go, we got the second. One more to go. And let's go see the Sunshine Beach. Wait, is it a different arch? This seems like a different arch. There's one here. And there's one here. Yeah, there are two arches. And both of those lead to the same spot, I believe. We saw some seals. I want to see those for sure. Oh, we have quite a bit of things here. Oh man, this is like a really, a really populated fish area. The group of common dolphins swimming near the shore are feeding on the creatures hidden in the sand. You should try to get to know them. Looks like they're taking, they're taken to you. Maybe you could try, maybe you could make one your partner. Nice, let's do that. Let's call the dolphin rock, that makes sense. Hello. You like me? Can we be friends? I'm just a lonely diver. There we go. Common dolphin. Can be seen in the Sunshine Beach area all year round. Just like pretty much everything else in this area. And we also got the seals here. California sea lion. Not, not seal, sea lion. There we go. In fresh is Otari. I thought that was seal. 
And I saw another one here that I wanted to see. Another fish. This one. Luna lionfish. And this can be mainly seen in an area a little south of Green Garden all year round. Although we didn't find Green Garden yet. So we can't know where that is. I know. I, I mean, never mind. I didn't say anything. Um, what else do we have to explore around here? This is a big beach. We could maybe try to get some of the map that is close to the sand. So we can complete this area. Actually, you know what? Auto swim. There we go. I just activated auto swim. So I can just relax while swimming around at the side of this peaceful beach. Let's look at the sand too while we do this, just in case we can find like some zooms. Mm. Doesn't seem like there's anything in the sand. Where are we? We still have quite a bit of the beach to. Oh! Hello! That is a treasure! So. Aha! Oh yeah, I pet it. Poop. Picture frame! And we also gotta start the zoom out, but that's not really important because those are found all over the place. But that picture frame, that is good. I don't remember that. I haven't found that as such I mean in my first game. Maybe that's something I never found in my first game. Actually, probably. Because I played my first save game for over two years. I can't believe I wouldn't have a treasure not found at that time. Uh, do we did we finish exploring this area? Uh, I would say pretty much. Maybe, maybe we'll have like a tiny place to go. Still, uh, actually, we're gonna be trapped here. For continue because the rocks are preventing me from going out of here. So let's not let's not stay into this area and let's go back to the Dolphin Rock. I want to see how much we can go south because there seems to be uh, a lot of area we didn't explore that way where I'm pointing. So let's continue swimming. This way. Goodbye, Dolphin Rock. We're gonna come back here later. I love how he just says Dolphin Rock when I said that, too. This way is where I wanted to explore. I want to see what's into the unknown. Exploring adventure. The water is going deeper here. We have some blue green chromis. A fish that just went right through the ground, right there. I saw that. Cheesy little fish. That, hey, 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 let me focus on you. You like to go to the ground, through the ground, do you? There we go. But now it's not going to because it's going to follow me all over the place. That's what all the small fish do when you pet them. Yeah, the, the water goes quite a bit deeper. How deep are we here? What? Wrong button. I'll just swim. We are 12 meters underwater. Although because of the meters and, oh, penguins, penguins underwater. They're feeding on, on fish. Are those the penguins that we already got three of? Yeah, they are, but still a really good find. Oh, we got some flatfish here. I think this is olive flounder, if I'm not mistaken. Hello. There we go, all the flounder, yup. And this is, can be seen in the rock land area all year round. Although I didn't find any when I was there. Oh. We found the white, the white, the white, no, the wild channel. Let me see where that is on the map. Oh, that is outside of our diving circle. We're not going to be able to go there. It seems to be this whole place here. That seems to be what the wild channel is. Uh, let's go as close as we can. That was weird. There were no fish in the whole cutscene because the diving area for the wild channel is outside of the diving circle. So it didn't populate the area with fish. Yeah. There are no fish in the whole wild channel. 
When I saw the cutscene the first time, it was full of fish. Interesting. Another discovery about the diving circle, right there for you. If you ha if you find an area that is outside of your diving circle and you get the cutscene to show, you won't see any fish in the whole area. Pretty weird stuff. Pretty weird stuff. I think I did pretty much all that was to be done in this dive here, so let's go back to the boat. And let's see how much area we explored. Two new locations. That was pretty good, I would say. Oh yeah, we really did it there. Oh wow, that was quite a bit of area. I'm proud of that mapping. Oh, Catherine. Looks like you found a picture frame. I wonder who the picture is of. It looks pretty old. I've often thought that in the olden days, people had slightly odd hairstyles. I think that too. I mean, take a look at portraits of Bach or Mozart. Back, I mean. Were those hairstyles once considered to be cool? What's wrong? Looks like you've got something on your mind. What? You want to cheer your hairstyle? Uh, no, I'm fine with mine. Thank you. Okay, I see. Well, if that's the case, I'll have Douglas prepare some material. Email received. Oh, that was probably the emails for the diving locations I got. Can't imagine it will be anything else. Yep. Diving info Sunshine Beach and Diving info Wild Channel. Let's check these. Sunshine Beach. A soothing white shore. A small, gently sloping beach of sparkling sand in the center of the arc described by Manorai's island. Formed over many centuries by the residue expelled by creatures such as parrotfish after eating coral, the tides have shaped the beautiful beach we see today. Life unique to the sand. Unlike coral reefs, the beach offers few hiding places for the creatures that make it their home. Most life here seeks safety by burying beneath the sand, and many kinds of goby can be found here. Pretty cool. Wild info. Wild not wild info. Diving info. Wild channel. Wild channel. A vast naturally formed channel. Traveling from the Manorai inland sea to the deeper ocean, you come across a small sandbar. South of this is a giant underwater passageway known as the Wild Channel. Its shape means the tide exerts a powerful pull on the channel, making it an ideal spot for drift diving. A popular spot for big fish. Thanks to the tide's strong flow, the channel is visited by schools of many species of fish, making it a popular feeding ground for larger fish. In the right season, you might spot fish unusual in this area, including the Eubalena glacialis. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. Oh, wait. Oh, I completely forgot about the diving guide request. We didn't fulfill that yet. We have to fulfill the diving request. That's another thing we have to do, but probably not this episode. I'm thinking more of the next. Anyways, I think that will be it for this episode of Endless Ocean 1. I really hope you enjoyed. Next episode, we're going to do the diving request, and maybe we'll even get to change our hairstyle. And we're, just, we're going to do some more exploring, of course, like we always do. I'm pretty proud of the progress that we got. We have seven locations found so far, and quite a bit of ocean still to explore. A lot and lots to do, and lots of fun to come. Anyways, that'll be it for this episode of Endless Ocean. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Maître des Blocs, out.